First off, let me begin by saying, please don't trust the Rotten Tomatoes score for this film because it's a really fun film. It follows the formula of the first four pirates and this film is actually a little better than the fourth one because on many levels, it's more mature, but it's still family friendly and it's a really fun movie. I don't really like Rotten Tomatoes. I don't ever watch another movie critic's uh, review of a film because I think it jades my opinion. So I never look up a film score on Rotten Tomatoes or any other type of website because I just think it jades the mind when you go to the theater or it completely deters you. For example, now when the Huntsman Winter's War, uh, the trailer debut, you know, if you're subscribed to the movie clips and trailer, uh, YouTube channel, which I really think everyone should subscribe to because they do release trailers for almost every film that's coming out. It's a fantastic channel. And I had no clue about The Huntsman Winter's Wars, which was a uh, sequel to Snow White and the Huntsman. And I watched the trailer and I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with that trailer. I watched the trailer for Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, and I fell in love with it. I thought it was fantastic. But then when I went to see The Huntsman Winter's War, I had a lot of issues with the film. I thought the directing was sloppy. I thought the writing was sloppy. I just thought the whole thing overall was sloppy, but the potential was there for it to be a great film. So I left it saying, maybe stream it because the middle, which is essentially the first hour, because the last half hour, the first half hour of that film were really good, but the middle, the, the middle hour was horrendous and it just caused it to drag. And if the and if 90% or if 50% of your film, but you feel like you're there for almost all of it because the, the first and last half hour go by so fast uh, of the Huntsman Winter's War. But if your film is dragging, there's a major problem. Pirates of the Caribbean 5 does not drag. You are always engaged. Brennan Thwaites, D uh, Dana Scordelario, Jeffrey Rush, Johnny Depp, all fantastic in their performance. Um, Javier Bardem, amazing as well. I loved his performance as... Um, uh, Captain Salazar, I almost blanked on the name. He's amazing. Uh, Javier Bardem is a, a fantastic actor. I think he needs more credit for his uh, his work. He's really, really good. And just the backstory of Captain Salazar is fantastic. I really loved how it blended with um, with Jack Sparrow because it takes essentially um, it takes place uh, Jack Sparrow and um, Captain Salazar's story. It takes place before even the first Pirates of the Caribbean began. So it's also a little bit of a, um, a prequel to Curse the Black Pearl in some senses. Now, speaking of Curse the Black Pearl, this movie does introduce characters from that film again, which would be Orlando Bloom's um, Will Turner and Keira Knightley's Elizabeth Swan. Now, Keira Knightley's role is very, very minute. If you guys are fans of Keira Knightley or fans of Elizabeth Swan, unfortunately, her role is extremely diminished to almost a, no, to a non-speaking cameo. I was going to say maybe she said one thing, but I think she just breathes. Like, she just goes, oh, Will, when she sees him. But uh, overall, like, just seeing her was fantastic. But if you want to see Elizabeth Swan be Elizabeth Swan, unfortunately, you're going to have to wait to the sequel. And I'm going to do a quick spoiler section uh, towards the end of the review to discuss the sequel because there is an end credit sequence to this film which I think everyone needs to see because first off make sure to watch the end credit sequence because it's really really cool and second it leads into a very exciting very cool sixth film so as I said this movie is more mature and what makes it more mature is um, well not just alcohol addiction Johnny Depp uh, his character of Jack Sparrow is addicted alcohol um, it's a huge problem for him he's really struggling to deal with the addiction he is gone so far from the jack sparrow that we met in curse of the black pearl jack sparrow is always funny and witty which he is in this film but you feel for him in a different way normally you're always supportive of jack and you always hope he succeeds but here you're just wondering how is he gonna pull out of this because he is just so downtrodden and he's really trying to find himself because he's essentially trying to get rid of the crutch that alcohol is holding him back, while at the same time dealing with the issues of Captain Salazar. Now, like I said, he's trying to essentially rebuild himself, find, um, uh, fill the void that is um, that has been created due to his alcoholism. But the characters of Captain Barbosa, the, char the character of Katrina, or uh, Karina, and um, Brendan Thwaites as Henry, they're all trying to find themselves as well. They're trying to find the missing piece. They're both trying to find who they are, or 
find something that is making them um, kind of broken in a way. Uh, Henry is looking for his father, Will, and um, Katrina is essentially trying to have a place in the world, but also find out who she is. She's an orphan, and she wants to know her about her family. And I have to say, I'm calling her Katrina. It's Car it's Karina. Um, sorry about that. But I just I loved it. I love the way that all of these uh, missions or these purposes combine because every character, even the villain, Javier Bardem Salazar, he has a purpose. He's essentially trying to fulfill himself, trying to make himself come back together to be whole again, and you know go with his um uh, his goal of killing the pirates. Now this movie has him as um, a villain and also has uh, the British Empire as well as a villain. Uh, the, the British Empire is uh, kind of the we, we've seen them, but they need to be there as a secondary antagonist because it adds to just the overall um, danger element of the movie. Because they the British Empire is extremely powerful, like there's no denying that. So I did enjoy uh, them on a minor level, but I was never a huge fan of the British generals in the first three films, or you know, because they were in the fourth one. They were, no, it was the Spanish in the fourth one. I, I wasn't a gigantic fan of that. I always enjoyed the more mystical elements of it. But I would say overall that just the way these character stories blend, it's it's perfect. It's a really fun movie. I saw this with Joe, and Joe had never seen any of the Pirates movies. And he said, I'm going to watch all four now because this movie was fantastic. He had not seen one, and he liked this. Which is why I find Rotten Tomato scores to be jaded because I feel like people... They're saying, I'm missing information because I don't think everyone who's seeing this is a fan of the franchise. But you can't, I feel like you can't review a franchise if you haven't seen the, the previous installments. And I, I think it's wrong that with the, the rating because I feel that they're, they're also maybe attacking Depp on some level because Johnny Depp has had some uh, major personal life issues. But I would say overall, I mean, this film is really good. It's, it's a really, really fun film. I'll be buying it. But speaking of purchasing... Do not watch it in 3D. There is no reason to watch it in 3D. The, um, the film is very dark. The film has a lot of very dark sequences. It's set at night several times. And um, there's a scene when they're underwater. Um, and it's just... It's, it, in the trailer, you, you see when the ocean divides and, and that whole sequence, it's very dark. And there was no reason for 3D. So I would say don't go with the 3D. Just go with the 2D ticket. But please go see it at, um, at, at any level. Do not stream this movie. Do not pirate it. Go to the theater and watch it. Enjoy Johnny Depp. Be Johnny Depp. He's not the crazy Jack Sparrow that we're used to from um, 1, 2, and 3. Because in 4, he's kind of more mature. But he's really, really engaging. I, I, I really loved it. Um, more or less, the, the overall sequence of the plot is Brendan Thwaites' as Henry is trying to free Will Turner from being the captain of the Dutchman. And Javier Bardem Salazar is after the same... Um, he wants freedom too from his curse and to free them, uh, to free Will and Salazar, you need the trident of Poseidon. So Henry and Salazar are both after that trident and that's more or less the goal. You know, the, the goal of the fourth one was the fountain of youth. The goal of the first one was the, the Aztec gold. The goal of the second one and the third one more or less was Davy Jones' heart. So uh, I, I liked it. I like how it has like that, it, it, the same focal point that the other movies have had. It, it, it follows a formula. It's very formulaic, but because of the missing missing of something, it, it's even more mature. And again, John Depp's alcoholism was really cool. Or uh, Jack Sparrow's alcoholism was really interesting to watch. I wouldn't call alcoholism cool, but I would say just seeing the character of Jack Sparrow deal with it, I, I, I really thought it was really compelling. Okay, so quick spoiler part. So at the ending sequence of the film, uh, Will Turner is with Elizabeth Swan. They are laying in bed. You can imagine what they've done. This is a Peach of Their Team film, but they don't actually show the action, but you can essentially figure it out. And uh, Will sees a flash of lightning, and you see Davy Jones's claw. And then you also see when he wakes up, he, he, the claw is gone. No one's there. But then when it, the camera zooms down, and you see... The little bits of a barnacle and oil from Davy Jones, and you're wondering how is he back? So it looks like for episode six of the Pirates of the Caribbean, um, excuse me, for episode six of Pirates of the Caribbean, it looks like Davy Jones is coming back, which is really, really 
engaging. I like that. I thought he was a fantastic villain in two and three. So I'm looking forward to seeing Davy Jones return. So I'm really curious what you guys have to say about the film. I would say it's really, really fun, but I would say my biggest thing for a six one is to not be super focused on Karina and Henry because I want the focus to return to Elizabeth Swan and Will Turner. I just think that uh, it's their turn to shine. I feel that they really helped this franchise flourish. I think uh, Kira Knightley, Johnny Depp, and um, Orlando Bloom work really well together. So I think them as a trio again with Karina and um, Henry as the side characters would be quite awesome. Um, if you guys like this movie, please let me know in the comments below. If you dislike this film and you agree with the Rotten Tomatoes score, also let me know um, why in the comments below as well. And we'll talk real soon about Pirates. Thanks for watching the review, and we'll talk soon. Bye.